Have you ever eaten fruits, vegetables, or meat from a tin can? Chances are you have. For centuries, canning food has been a popular method for preserving food, both commercially and at home. In recent studies, canned food consumption was positively associated with higher nutrient intakes in the U.S. population, demonstrating that canning food is a practical way to prolong the shelf life of food without sacrificing its nutritional value. But how did this process first come about? People have been utilizing food preservation techniques for centuries to extend the storage life of their meals. Drying food in the sun, curing it with salt, and pickling it in vinegar are some of the oldest methods of food preservation. These methods, however, are still prone to spoilage and significantly alter the taste and texture of most foods. It wasn't until the late 18th century that the process we now know as canning was developed, allowing food to be preserved for great lengths of time while keeping the food in a near-fresh state. In 1795, Napoleon Bonaparte was set on his quest to conquer the world. As French troops invaded neighboring countries, the government realized the ability to carry food for an extended time was the key to the health of their soldiers, and thus the key to their military success. Their cured meat provisions weren't cutting it. The government offered a prize of 12,000 francs to the creator of a new, practical means of transporting and storing food. Enter Nicolas Appert a French chef and grocer who believed that older preservation techniques like curing and pickling spoiled the taste and healthfulness of food. He set out to devise a better process and win the government's contest, and came up with a technique that changed the diet of people worldwide. Appert was born in the east of France on November 17, 1749, to a family of innkeepers and farmers. He learned how to pickle foods and cork champagne bottles at a fairly young age, and later opened a candy and grocery shop in Paris. In 1795, a pair began experimenting with preservation techniques to extend the availability of food beyond its harvest season. Through trial and error, he determined a successful method for prolonging the shelf life of food. A pair used glass jars for his storage process, but he created the process that we now know today as canning. He filled glass bottles with prepared food such as soups, vegetables, juices, dairy products, jellies, jams, and syrups, making sure to leave room at the top of the jar for expansion. He then firmly sealed the jars with cork and wax and placed them into a bath of boiling water. Appert based his preservation process on heating foods to temperatures in excess of 100 degrees Celsius, doing so by using an early version of an autoclave, a device that uses steam, high temperature, and extreme pressure to sterilize. Though somewhat unsure of the scientific principle behind his preservation technique, Appert hypothesized that heat destroys, or at least neutralizes, the fermentation that changes the quality of animal and vegetable substances. Half a century later, Louis Pasteur credited a pair with being the first to understand the basic principle of pasteurization, heating foods to deactivate microorganisms in food that contribute to spoilage. As well as destroying unwanted microorganisms, the heating process of canning drives air out of the jar and forms the vacuum seal as the jar and its contents cool. The vacuum seal also helps to keep the canned foods fresh, as oxygen exposure causes food to ripen. The lack of air in the jars also prevents the growth of mold and slows bacteria propagation. Determined to win the government's prize, Appert opened the world's first canning factory in 1804 in the French town of Massy, south of Paris. In 1809, he succeeded in preserving foods using his boiling and sealing technique. He presented his findings to the French government, demonstrating that this process would allow for easy transportation of food as well as keeping the food from spoiling for extended periods of time, provided the seals were not broken. In 1810, a pair published a book describing his process entitled The Art of Preserving All Kinds of Animal and Vegetable Substances for Several Years. Upon its publication, the French government presented him with the 12,000 franc award. For his findings, he won a gold medal from the Society for the Encouragement of National Industry. Appert's method was a hit, but glass bottles posed a problem because they were fragile. Later in 1810, Peter Durand patented metal containers, cans, that increased the portability of food for militaries. Dr. Jaya Henry, a professor of nutrition at Oxford Brookes University, noted that 
For the first time, you have ships going on long voyages of discovery or on campaigns to far from home ports without the ever present fear of malnutrition. From this point onwards, the incidence of scurvy begins to fall. Once Robert Yates invented the can opener in 1855, tin can mass production took off, and canned goods began moving from just military provisions into the diet of working class citizens. Canning forever shifted the diet of people across the globe for the better, allowing a wide group of people access to nutrient-rich foods no matter what was in season. The Appair method was so simple and workable that people around the world began adopting his canning and preserving method at home. Still today, people's diets around the world are improved through both the at-home and commercial use of Appair's canning technique.